everyone, this is Jeannie Hall, your Creative Empowerment Coach, and today I want to stop in and just talk about the importance of forgiveness in our lives, and particularly if we've had someone in our life that has left us with a lot of anger, even rage, if we have someone that we blame for the things that have gone wrong in our life, the most powerful thing you can do and the best thing you can do is allow yourself to forgive them. And let me clarify, forgiveness does not mean that you condone what they did. Forgiveness does not mean that you are sending them anything but whatever anger you have in your heart. It's understandable if they wronged you and you know that they wronged you and you feel it in your heart that they wronged you then that is understandable the, the reason that forgiveness is so powerful is because of you when you forgive them what you're really doing is you're forgiving yourself you're allowing yourself to release that pain and that anger that anguish that rage because what's happening, maybe even hatred, what's happening is when you hate on someone and when you send them nothing but vitriol and just pure negativity, what happens is they don't receive it. <laughs> you do. And that's why it's so, so, so important to be willing to forgive them. And again, it's not for their sake, it's for your own. So if you're walking around and you're carrying this huge boulder on your back of anger and fury and pain that leaves you in tears sometimes, or you wake out out of a, out of a dead sleep and you're just furious, you wanna scream, then the best thing you can do is just say, I forgive whoever for this situation. And again, it's not for them, it's for you. Because once you do that, once you willingly let go of those angry, hateful feelings, then you stop hurting yourself. And it can literally change your life and transform it into something much easier to deal with. It can allow more love to come into your life and into your heart. And it's so beautiful. And I understand, Kathleen, I see sometimes it's hard. I totally agree. It's one of the hardest things you'll ever do. But the thing is, if you're willing to do it, even just a little bit, even if all you can do is say, I forgive you a little, <laughs> right? Even if you have to do baby steps, that is more healing for you. And that is more love that you're allowing to come into your life. Because we are so powerful, you guys, seriously. We, our emotions and what we send out are so, so powerful. So if you're sending out hatred or anguish or fury, then that is what you're sending to your own heart because they're not getting it. You are. Whether they're alive or dead doesn't matter. What matters is how you feel because that's who's experiencing it. So if you can, do yourself a favor, allow yourself to forgive anyone who has wronged you, anyone who has pissed you off, <laughs> anyone who has sent you flying into a rage and you feel like has crippled you in your life in some way, because you deserve it. You deserve love in your life. Hey, Melissa, hi, how are you? I love you. <laughs> um, so just remember that, hey baby, my hubby's on, hi babe. <laughs> so just remember, when you're going through a hard time because of something that someone else did to you, it's so, so important that you forgive them on your end for yourself because you deserve all the love in the world and you're not really going to receive it and you're not really going to believe it until you release what has happened to you from someone else. So that is my advice today. Hard as it is to swallow, I know, it's hard to take, but I promise if you allow yourself to forgive and you allow yourself to move on past that, your whole life will get better. 
So this is me signing off for today. I hope you have a beautiful day and the rest of your week. And I love you all. Bye-bye.